So anyway, let's talk about this men's 100. Trayvon Bromel gets the win. Kind of makes sense. Bromel, uh, he's a good runner in, in these kind of non-championship round type races. He does pretty well in these like one and done type hundreds. Gets the win, 995. Not, nothing, too, nothing too fancy. It was into a headwind. Marvin Bracey, second, 10 flat. Akeem Blake, 10 flat. Akeem Blake just beat Christian Coleman, ladies and gentlemen. He just beat the 2019 world champion. Keen Blake. So I know Kevin was all on the Oblique Seville train. Even though uh, Seville did have a great world championship, don't get me wrong. But Keen Blake now running 10 flat, basically running the same time as the silver medalist and beating Christian Coleman. I like my Keen Blake stock. I'm getting in. It's, 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 I, I bought the dip and I'm excited for my Keen Blake in 2023 because this is a good performance for him out of Jamaica. Johan Blake was fifth. Uh, Eli, Eli Hall was six and then, you know, and then the rest, uh, but it wasn't fast. And when you look at this times, you know, 995, that's nothing special, 10 flat for second. And then you look at what Shelly and Fraser price did an hour later, winning the world lead it makes you think that like Shelly Ann is on another one. Like she is ready to roll. It ain't, and it ain't even close. So, uh, but Romel Bracey looks like all these hundred meter men, they're all kind of you know, licking their wounds from going up against Fred Curley. And now they are uh, trying to figure out what they can do this second half of the year as the European season kicks off. So, but good run for Bromel. I mean, I'm sure Bracey wanted the win, but, you know, 10 flat. You know, I think you just like rinse it off and get ready for a new, uh, a new race. Um, anything else from this? I mean, Coleman, he wasn't even in it, man. Like, 10-13. Are we ever going to have... Like... Okay, hold on. Has Christian Coleman officially been taken off the list of contenders? Got sixth at the world, at Worlds. Runs... It's fourth here, but it's like a distance fourth. Like he's running 10-13, where Akeem Blake is running 10 flat, Bracey 10 flat, and Bromel 995. Do we need to officially kind of just put away his 2019 season and his world title and be like, hey, that was three years ago. It doesn't count anymore. We may need to kind of recategorize you into the B or t the the B T the B tier, you're not in the A tier anymore. You know, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I think today marks the first day where Christian Coleman is no longer A tier in the world. I mean, I'm even taking I'm taking off uh, Lamont Jacobs because I just want I want to, and so the. 2021 Olympic champion and the 2019 world champion, they're both not in the A tier anymore. I would say the A tier right now, Curly, Romel, Bracey, say Seville, put Omanyala in there. I think that's it. Yeah. Curly, Bromel, Bracey, Omen Yala, and Oblique Seville. Those are the five. That's my new contender tier. That's where the cutoff is. If you're one of those five, you are in the conversation for being the best in the world. If you're not, you got to do something to join that crew. Coleman was in there. Coleman was in there all this year, especially after a good indoor season. Who's in there? But Jacobs got taken out because now, like with the injuries, you're kind of like, I, I, I just can't keep you in there for that long. And Coleman, we've given him opportunity after opportunity to stay in that tier, and he's not grabbing it by the horns. So, Coleman, you're, you're first in line to get back into that top tier, but right now you're in the B tier. Uh, the eight tiers for those five, Bromel, Bracey, Curly, Omanyala, and Oblique Seville. So, 
I don't make the rules. I just podcast them. Here's to Christian Coleman's next race to see if he can join back the top five tier that Gordon created.